price here. Barbecue is a huge staple here in the Lone Star <laughs> State. But because of COVID-19, a lot of establishments throughout the state have had to close up shop. But three barbecue joints right here in Wichita Falls decided to open up shop during the pandemic. And the response that they have seen, well, it's been just off the charts. That is right. Curtis Jackson takes us inside McKinney Barbecue, Underground Barbecue, and of course, Jordan Craft Barbecue in tonight's Destination mm -hmm. Texas. Destination Texas is sponsored by The Pecan Shed, RV Connection, Royal Tire and Brake, and Coyote Ranch Resort. We Texans take pride in our barbecue, so for this Destination Texas, we're taking you to three hotspot barbecue joints right here in Wichita Falls, starting off with McKinney Barbecue. Owner James McKinney opened his doors at the beginning of the year, and the response at first was overwhelming. That is, until coronavirus reared its ugly head. I was kicking butt until Corona came, man. It, it was, it was very nice. But you know, now Corona came, things are slowing down. But by the looks of his parking lot, you couldn't tell. McKinney serves up your traditional barbecue with a southern twist, something that McKinney says has been working throughout the year. Enough so that he started to expand his menu. Every Friday and Saturday, I try to mix things up, do some off the wall, especially items, and that goes. And I think a lot of people, I really don't see them until the weekends because it's something different. Another local hot spot that recently opened its doors is Underground Barbecue. Owner Dwayne Salzman opened up just a couple of months ago, serving up dishes with a Creole spin on it. We take pride in our food and we, and we do love our customers. They really are family. You know, their, their satisfaction, it, it means everything to us. Uh, our meats are, we, we, we buy nothing but, you know, top of the line premium meats. Serving up items like brisket, pulled pork, ribs, and their newest item on the menu, the Texas cheesesteak. You know, Philly cheesesteak, of course, uh, respect where it's due, they invented it. Uh, we use a brisket, uh, however, we do a Creole fajita blend, uh, spice on our peppers, and then an aged white cheddar. Uh, adding peppers in it for our sauce. But the barbecue joint reaping the most benefits right now has to be Jordan Craft Barbecue, a newly opened restaurant that you had to get there early for before they ran out of meat because of so many people wanting to see what it was all about. Yeah, it's been a learning experience on how to, you know, just how much food to order. Um, who knew that you needed to order? We were open two weeks and we ran out of Coke. Well, who knew you needed to order more Coca Cola? So it's been. It's just so many moving parts to it. And after being open for a little over two months, they seem to have everything down, including one of their biggest attractions, the concerts. Even the response to the concerts, I mean, we have 30, 30 VIP tables, and we sold those out in 12 minutes this morning. But it's food like the Mack truck, a bed of mac and cheese topped with brisket, sausage, or pulled pork, or the 3 a.m. Uber ride, which is a souped-up Frito pie that has folks from all over cram-packing the restaurant to get a taste of Jordan Kraft's award-winning food. Oh, it all looks good to me. I, I'm great. a brisket and rib guy. You know, those pulled are my pork two favorite. For me. Yeah, if you put pulled pork on anything, I'm probably gonna eat. Yeah. Mm -mm. It all looked good. You know it did. Well, to find the hours of operation for each barbecue establishment mentioned in this story, you can just head over to TexomasHomePage.com. Hey.